Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting right to episode 4 of Gigi Harum. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Unfortunately, yeah. my baby
Right? Take it. Honey, that's more creepy. Like you want to kill him? I mean, I'm all for it. Just wink, 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 wink. <laughs> Right? Just do like you normally do with your regular blinking. And then, one.
you're going to be the doctor today. gonna sing just for a moment. See? I don't think we can do that. Me? Huh? Mm-hmm. Ah, Nanakura. Re. In. Rin.
right? So you can't even say you were first. Right? Hello, close. That's okay. That's okay. Any that's her man. That's her man. Any moment where she's just like, I get to hang out with him. Yes. Taking that initiative. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't say you're technically dating. Don't go crazy now. Oh my god, they're matching. Uh oh. I know. <laughs> wow, indeed.
just call her by her first name. <laughs> that was so cute. I mean, yeah, them at his house having like a cute little moment together, and then mom comes in and just sees the matching shirts too. Once again, when you know, you know. I mean, oof, it, it, it's writing itself. And you're like, mm hmm, mm hmm. I, I love the fact that we're just like, oh my god, are we dating? Like, I'm wearing his clothes and we're matching. We're obviously dating, but we know we know they're not. We're we're in the steps of getting ready to date. You mean like, oh my god, they're just two. Uh, they're just a guy and a girl who are like literally just close. And a guy and a girl can be close without any romantic feelings involved. Even though yes, Rin is like head over heels in love with him. But for anybody else, like okay, for me and my guy best friend, um, I have no romantic feelings towards him at all, and such. He, he's just a good friend that I love talking to and such. And literally, I was watching um, a video today, and I sent it to him. I, well, I put it on my Snapchat, and I was like, this is me and you. Like, straight up. In both different scenarios and situations that the guy and the girl were doing. And I was just like, this is me and you. And he was like, yeah, you're right. <laughs> and I'm like, duh. But no, like, seriously. They're just so cute. Even, like... I can't. Even them, like, doing the freaking nurse's office, like, moment. That was fucking adorable. No, you need something bigger. The, also, the fact is that they say to the same thing about the house. The house. The same matching house. Wanting to be on the, on the second floor in a room and such. Come on now. You're writing yourself. Like, oh my god. Just, uh, I'm hoping that, like, if I could say when they possibly would start dating, I, I mean, I'm still hoping a, like final episode is when they start dating. I, I love the slow burn of both of them slowly but surely getting into their feelings and being like, oh shit, like I am really liking this girl. I'm really digging this guy and such. But I feel like there's going to be a moment where Rin is really just going to be like, and most women, because I, I know I've been like this, um, when you hang out with a guy so much and you you do have feelings for that guy and you want to know, you want to be relatively sure. And maybe guys, you might be also like this as well. I would say I can, and I know for like, when I have talks with my girlfriends, um, we always have conversations about this when we're with a guy that we have a crush on, but I don't know about guys if it's the same thing. Where, you know, you ask them like, hey, what are we? Like, are we just friends who hang out from time to time? Or are you slowly but surely, like, looking at me as a potential, you know, love interest? And I get it. There, even till today, um, I could even say, like, the dangers in, the, um, in your heart did that, too, where they started out as friends, and then slowly but surely, yes, they started dating and stuff, but there was a moment where it's just, like, I think, I think another anime almost kind of did it, too, where some guys are relatively they don't want to ruin that relationship or that friendship with the person because it's like once you ruin once you go on to dating and you break up and stuff like people say that friendship is still over it's over and such i, I mean i'd say yeah 100 percent yeah um but there are ways that you can pick it back up and like platonically not have any more feelings for that person before i i've done it yeah like okay so the one guy <laughs> <laughs> the one guy that I'm kind of talking to, um, me and him, we, we've talked before. We've technically dated before. Um, but, uh, I like, I still occasionally flirt with him from time to time and say, and vice versa. He flirts with me a lot. Um, and such. And so we just, I do some stupid things where like I've sent him some videos and I'm like, here, this is us and such. And then he'll say something like hella flirty and smart and he knows he knows that is that is my weakness and I cannot and I keep telling him like stop because you know what that does to me and he, he just he does not stop and I can't with him 
And I don't want to ask him again. Like, oh my God, what are we? <laughs> but yeah, I'll always say that. Like, if you ever do have those moments and feelings where you just don't know um, what you are with someone, just be, be, take that initiative. Like, even though you might get hurt in the end, take that initiative, be smart and just be like, hey, I want to know. But just say, like, I don't want this to ruin, like, what we have and stuff. Like, you know. You do what you think is best. But other than that, guys, that's my reaction view towards episode four of Gigi Harum. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all on Thursday for episode five. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.